muling nagbabalik ang yung engineer, Venom. Okay? May dalawa akong theorem na i-discuss ngayon para masolve natin ang mga electrical networks. We have the very famous Thevenin's theorem at Norton's theorem. Okay? Sabi sa Thevenin's theorem, kung meron ka daw ganitong circuit, pwede mo daw yung i-replace ng tinatawag nating ETH or Thevenin voltage tapos meron kang series resistance doon or Thevenin's resistance. So, sabi doon, this circuit could be converted into one voltage source in series with its resistance or RTH. And dito mo, ikakabit yung load resistance mo or RL. So, ETH is just an open circuit voltage. Next, guys, is yung tinatawag nating Norton's Theorem. Sabi naman sa Norton's Theorem, kung meron kang ganitong circuit, pwede mo tong i-convert sa isang current source in parallel with its Norton's resistance, then dito mo ikakabit ang load resistance. And maalin man dito sa dalawa ay pwede mong gamitin. Kasi kung meron ka ng Thevenin's Equivalent Circuit or TEC, pwede mo yung makonvert into NEC or Norton's Equivalent Circuit. Do not forget na itong ISC na to ay equal lang sa ETH over RTH. Okay? At kung ang binigay naman sa'yo ay isang Norton's Equivalent Circuit, pwede mo yung makonvert to Thevenin's Equivalent Circuit. Bakit? Kasi ETH is just ISC times RN. Okay? So, next, magko-compute na tayo. So, please copy. Okay, so I have here an example circuit. Itong circuit na to, ginamit ko na to para masolve yung iba't ibang network theorems. Ay, yung iba't, yeah, tama. Okay, we're back. So, I have here an example circuit. Ang circuit na to, ginamit ko na din sa mga previous examples ko. Kasi gusto kong makita nyo na kahit anong method yung gawin, pare-parehas yung makukuha nating sagot. So, the instruction here is to find the current at the 8 ohm resistor. So, if we're going to use Thevenin's theorem, what we have to do is to convert this circuit into its equivalent Thevenin's circuit. So, ang Thevenin's circuit nga ulit, or Thevenin's equivalent circuit, is meron kang ETH, tapos meron ka dong series resistor, na tinatawag nating RTH, and across its terminals, doon mo ikakabit yung load resistance mo. In our case, ang hip Ang pinapahanapan sa atin ay si 8 ohm resistor. So, ang ating load resistance ay equal sa 8 ohms. Okay? So, we need an ETH and RTH. Okay? So, dalawa yung kukuhain natin. Tama. So, to find ETH. So, for ETH, the first step to do is to open the involved resistor. Open the involved resistor and get ETH in that terminal. So, let me redraw the circuit para mas ma-visualize nyo kung ano ba yung mangyayari. Okay? So, I have here my 12 volts. And meron ako ditong 2 ohms. Ano mangyayari kay 8 ohm? ma-open. At sabi, dapat doon natin kukuhain yung ETH natin. And then, you have your 5 ohm here, and then, your 10 ohm resistance. Okay? Diba? Ganito lang siya guys, i figure out. Si ETH, wag mong isipin nandyan. Isipin mo, voltmeter lang yan. Na nakatusok dyan. Na measure mo yung certain voltage. At kung siya ay isang voltmeter, eh di ba pwede mong tanggalin tapos pwede mong ikabit ulit or i-connect ulit. Okay? So basically, kung titingnan ko si ETH, di ba parang measure ko lang yung voltage dito or dito. Kasi yung pagkakakabit ko parang nakaparallel. So mamaya, pag kinuha ko, it's either dito ko pwede mag-KDL or dito for ETH. Okay? So, for the meantime, isipin yung wala dyan si ETH. Okay? Kung titingnan yung wala si ETH, anong connection ng mga resistance natin? Di ba in series lang sila? 
tapos sinusuplaya ng 12 volts. So, pwede mong sabihin na yung dumadaloy na current sa lahat ng yan ay iisa lang at yan ay si current I. Okay? So, basically, I is just V over R. O kung gusto mo mag-KVL, pero ako dito ako mas nadadalian. So, that is just 12 volts all over 2 ohms plus 5 ohms plus 10 ohms. So, that is equal to 12 over 17 amperes. Okay? Meron tayo agad current I. Pag meron ako current I, ibalik ko si voltmeter or si EPH at makakapag-measure na ako ng voltage. So, it's either i-KVL ko po dito or dito ko po i-KVL. So, pag dito ko kinivl, di ba, yung direction ng I ko pa pa ganun, clockwise, tama po ba? Yes, clockwise. At pag nag-KVL ako, laging clockwise. So, that is negative 2I kasi same ng direction, si current, yung assume kong direction, tsaka yung clockwise. So, negative 2I plus 12 minus ETH equals 0. So, ETH is 12 minus 2I, but what is the value of I? 12 over 17 amperes. And from here, ang makukuha mong value ng ETH is equal to 180 over 17 volts. So, ngayon, meron na tayong value ng ETH. Si RTH naman po yung kukuhain natin. So, paano kukuhain si RTH? So, for RTH, kailangan yung i-follow tong rules na to. Kapag meron kang voltage source, kailangan mong i-short yan. Kung ang meron naman ay current source, kailangan mo naman yang i-open. Okay? So, paano yung mangyayari? 2 ohms, tapos meron kang voltage source. Ano ba pag sinabi, isyo-short natin? Kapag sinabi natin isyo-short, papaltan lang natin ng wire. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, guys, Ito na si 12 volts, wire na lang. And then si 2 ohm resistance. And then si 5 ohms. And then si 10 ohms. Bakit hindi ko nalagay si 8 ohms? Kasi kay 8 ohms, i-open natin siya at doon tayo kukuha ng RTH. So, kumbaga guys, meron po ako doon nilagay na isang ohmmeter. Okay? At kung titingnan nyo, nung naglagay ako ng ohmmeter, nagkaroon tayo dito ng node. Okay? So baka kasi isipin nyo, isipin nyo na wala din din yung RTH. Nandyan po. Okay? At nag-create ng node. At dahil meron tayong node, meron tayo parallel circuit. Anong parallel? Parallel kasi si 2 ohms kay 5 plus 10 ohms. Kasi nagka-node na nga po dito. Okay? Okay guys. So si RTH is equal sa parallel combination ni 2 ohms at ni 5 plus 10 ohms. Okay? Pag nagkita kayo ng ganyan, it means parallel po. So, pag kinumpute ko yan, that is equal to 30 over 17 ohms. So, I now have the value of my ETH and RTH. What I have to do next is to put that into our Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So, burahin ko na to. This is equal to 180 over 17 volts. Well, our RTH is equal to 30 over 17 volts and your load resistance is equal to 8 ohms. So, how can you find the resistance at the 8 ohm resistance? Ah, uh, sorry. How can you find the current at the 8 ohm resistance? What you have to do is a simple KBL. This is the current I. And since this is a series circuit, kung ano yung current na dumadaan dito, ay siyang current ding dadaan kay load resistance. Tama? So, KVL, that's 180 over 17 minus I. Tapos si I nadaan kay 30 over 17 ohms plus 8 ohms equals 0. And from here, the value of I is equal to 90 over 83 amperes. And you can solve this using mesh analysis or nodal analysis and you will arrive at the same answer. Okay, so whatever method, I'm just giving you options. 
Okay, so next part, isosolve naman natin ulit yung circuit na yan using Norton's theorem. Okay, so please copy. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is to get the current again at the 8 ohm resistor but using Norton's theorem. Sabi nga sa Norton's theorem, kung meron kang ganyan circuit, pwede ko yung paltan ng short circuit current ISC in parallel with RN and across its terminal, doon mo ikakabit yung load resistance mo and our, in our case nga, ang pinapakabit sa atin is 8 ohms kasi yun yung pinapahanapan natin na resistance. Okay? Si Rn po ay equal lang sa RTH or Thevenin's equivalent resistance. Yung way ng pagkuha ng internal resistance or series or parallel resistance sa Norton's theorem at Thevenin's theorem ay parehas lang po. So, kung ano yung nakuha natin kanina, yun na. So, Rn is equal to the RTH, which is 30 over 17 ohms. Again, to get RTH, you have just to short the voltage sources and to open the current sources. So, ang problema na lang natin dito ngayon ay sa pagkuha ng short circuit current, ISC. So, to get ISC, kung kanina, for ETH, nag-open tayo. For ISC, what we're gonna do is is short natin yung involved na resistance which is 8 ohms. So short the involved resistance. And doon, doon makukuhain yung IS mo. So paano ba yung mangyayari? Okay? Diba yan si 8 ohms? Isho short natin. Pag nga sinabi natin isho short, papaltan lang po natin ang wire. Okay? Nung na-short ko si 8 ohms, may effect ba yun kay 5 ohms at 10 ohms? Hmm? Yes po. Kasi guys, kung meron kang ganitong resistance, let's say this is R, and then nilagyan ko yan ng wire dito, anong tawag sa ginawa ko? Isho-north ko yung R. So, equivalent, magiging wire lang yan. Okay? Shorted na po yung resistance natin. Nagiging 0 ohms lang. So, ano mangyayari kay 5 ohms sa kay 10 ohms? Eh, dahil sinort ko tong branch na to, mawawala na po yan. Okay? Pag nawala po yan, yung, mang, yung mangyayari sa circuit natin, ganito na lang. Yan, ito si 12 volts, ito si 2 ohms, and then ito yung shorted branch. At dito, dito ko kukuha ng ISC, or short circuit current. Kung ano yung value ng current na dumadaan sa part na to, yun yung ISC natin. Kaya nga, short circuit current, kasi may shinort tayo, tama po ba? Alin yung shinort natin? Yung 8 ohms dito kanina. Okay, so basically, meron akong 12 volts, saka 2 ohms. Hmm? Pwede akong mag-KVL para makuha ko yung current I. Let's say that is the current I. Okay? And as you can see, the direction of the current I and the ISC is just the same, meaning they are equal in magnitude and in direction. So kung positive yung makuha ko dito, kanore, positive 7, positive 7 din ang ISC. Pero kung nagkataon na binaligtad ko yung nakuha ko, for example, binaligtad ko yung direction na to, at ang nakuha kong value ng I is negative 3 amperes. Okay? Listen, negative 3 amperes dahil binaligtad ko, and kontra siya sa direction ng ISC, ang value ng ISC is negative ng negative 3 amperes, which is positive 3 amperes. Okay? Note, kapag parehas ang direction, parehas yun ang magnitude and direction or sign. Kapag kinontra, eh di mumultiplyan mo ng negative. Okay guys, so I here, wala naman ako magiging problema, is just 12 over 2 ohms. So that is equal to 6 amperes. So I is equal to 6 amperes and ISC is also equal to 6 amperes. 
Kasi kung ano naman yung current na dumaan dito, ay siya din current na dadaan dito kasi iisang wire lang naman po yan. Okay? Tama ba? Ititrace mo lang or susunsinin mo lang yung wire. Eh parehas lang naman yung wire na yan, eh di parehas lang din yung current na dadaan dyan. Okay? So palta natin to guys ng 6 amperes and ang ating ang RN na nakuha kanina is 30 over 17 ohms. At meron tayong 8 ohms. Okay? Trivia? Ano nga yung theorem na pwede natin gamitin para makapagsod ng madali kapag meron kang total current at may dalawa kang resistance? Current Divider Theorem. Kung hindi mo po ito alam, pwede mo pong balikan yung iba kong videos about parallel circuit and dun ko po yun na-discuss. So, in that case, by CDT or Current Divider Theorem, I can easily get the value of 8 ohms of the resistance flowing at the 8 ohms. So, current at the 8 ohm is equal to the total current which is 6 amperes times 30 over 17 ohms all over 30 over 17 ohms plus 8 ohms. Okay? Kung ang gusto mong kuhain naman is yung current kay 30 over 17, ang numerator mo naman dito ay 8 ohms. Baligtadan po. Theorem to kasi applicable lang to kapag dalawa na parallel resistance. Kapag tatlo, hindi na po. Okay? Kaya nga, theorem eh. Applicable lang into something. So, kapag ginawa mo yan, your current is equal to 90 over 83 amperes. Okay? At kung i-check mo guys, for example, ito yung ginamit mong circuit. Eh sabi, gamitin daw Thevenins. Eh ang nagawa mo na Nortons. Madali mong convert itong circuit na ito papuntang Thevenins equivalent circuit Kasi nga, di ba, pag Thevenin's equivalent circuit, meron kang ETH sa ka RTH. Okay, do not forget na yung RTH na yun ay yun din. O yung RN natin kapag Nortons. At ang ating ETH ay equal lang sa ISC times RTH or RN. Kahit itry mo pa, um, 6, uh, 6 amperes times 30 over 17, that is 180 over 17 volts which is the value of the ETH na nakuha natin kanina. So, any other way pwede mong gamitin para masolve mo. Okay? So, please copy and keep watching. Thank you.